CI or the continuous insulation loses the thermal bridge. So you drive through a cold, a cold neighborhood on a cold winter day in Minnesota and you can pick every stud out of every house. Why is that? It has to do with the thermal bridge. So if you have an R21 assembly, but every 16 inches you have a two by six, it's an R6 assembly every 16 inches. The thermal, the thermal bridge is, uh, is um, conducting energy through it. So putting continuous insulation on that assembly is going to eliminate that thermal bridge, hence warming that wall, hence moving dew point to the exterior. And then we're going to go over the top of that with a CI. We're going to go over the top of it with two inches of XPS, correct? Yes. So it's an R10 assembly over the top of that. So what that R10 does is it moves the dew point to the exterior, so the dew point will never occur in that wall cavity. Oops. There are other products that you can use that are thinner where it minimizes the dwell time in which the dew point occurs, but you don't eliminate it with those thinner products. With a heavier product, you are absolutely eliminating it. So now we're going to start with a cap fastener. And what we're going to use here, I believe, is screws with a cap fastener, which holds that assembly in place. And then what we're going to do is we're going to air seal that foam to stop air, because air is the absolute super highway to, for moisture. If you want to move moisture quickly and efficiently, allow an air path to do that. All right, I'll start. Think of the old school windows we grew up with, where all of a sudden there's frost and, and, and water around those old windows. Stopping air transfer is a big, big deal with respect to building resilience and building performance. It's about durable assemblies, and CI, continuous insulation, is going to help. I have a home in Blaine, Minnesota, with continuous insulation. It's eight years old, and in my 2 by 4 wall, I used a really special insulation. I have an R30 assembly on that. On our cabin in northern Wisconsin, I just did a big remodel job, and this isn't necessarily about above grade, but below grade, I used insulated concrete forms on that, which absolutely is a very, very, very efficient way to insulate and keep that assembly dry. Anytime you have moisture transfer, you have the potential to lower the air quality of the inside of that home. And we are protecting the largest investment these people have ever made in their lives which is their home. So stopping air transfer, hence having a higher quality of air in that home is a big deal.